Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick video talking about my sneak attack favorites. Now I got this uh, video inspiration by Julia Mazzucato. Essentially it's products that you didn't think you would love as much as you do. Uh, I didn't go in and like buy these products assuming that I would hate them, but I just, I guess they really surprised me in how much I do really like them. I have uh, a couple of products here, mostly palettes and lip products, a couple blushes and then a couple highlighters and an eyeshadow duo, so let's just get into it. First off is the ColourPop So Juicy Glosses. Now I picked one up on kind of a whim. It was when the orange monochromatic palette came out and they had like a little duo of two. One was an orange gloss, which I haven't even opened because I've been liking these two uh, so much. So I have, I do have another one. I just haven't really used it and gotten thoughts on it. Um, but this is the one that I was really, really using for a long time. This is in the shade She's Here. And this gloss formula is definitely not going to be for everybody. It is very thick, very sticky, but I like it because it lasts so long on the lips. You don't have to worry about reapplying. You can put it on and it'll last probably like four or five hours because it's so kind of heavy duty um, and I just didn't really have any thoughts on it going in I didn't really hear many people talking about it um, but then when I first applied it I was like "Ooh, I'm not so sure about this like it was really really heavy um, but I find if you kind of use the um, the squeeze tube applicator to kind of really sheer it out on your lips it can be really really nice it is super shiny it's I don't really find that it has a plumping effect to my lips. It does have that kind of like pepperminty scent and tingle, but I don't think it really does anything to make my lips bigger. But I didn't expect to like these as much as I do. I was using this one like every single day for months. And then I picked up this shade. This is Dress Code, uh, which is a more, it's a better nude for me. This is a little light and it can look a little like frosty or like chalky kind of um, concealery looking. Uh, just a touch. It is still kind of pinky toned, but it is so light that it looks a little strange on my lips if I just use this. So I wanted to get a different color that was more flattering, but I, I still use this all the time and I really like it if my lips are kind of dry and chapped. This really does kind of moisturize them. I don't think, you know, that's the intention is to be really hydrating or anything, but it's a gloss so it is. And because it lasts so long and sticks to the lips really nice, I I do find that it kind of helps to soak in some moisture if there if your lips are lacking that. I guess I'll just go into these ColourPop lips. Uh, these are the ColourPop Lux Liquid Lipsticks. Now I only picked up one initially because I heard a lot of people raving about these and um, the big claim was that they are a liquid lipstick but they're not drying and I like the idea of liquid lipsticks but I'm such a drama queen about when it comes to like things that are uncomfortable on my lips. If they're uncomfortable, I'm almost certainly not going to wear it. Um, maybe for like pictures or something, but I, if it's if it doesn't feel good, I'm going to take it off. So I was really intrigued. I got the shade Wonder Boy, which is part of the Disney Designer Collection. It's kind of like a purpley mauve color, um, but I really, really like these. I think they're really versatile. You can take a little bit on your finger and kind of just smear it all over your lips and get that really diffuse, soft looking look, or you can apply them really full on and bold and pigmented. Um, and yeah, that's the thing is they really do feel nice on the lips. They don't, they're not adding any moisture, um, but they're also, you know, not sucking the life out of your lips. These are really, really nice. I did pick up a couple more shades. This one is from their kind of like long-term um, collection. This is in the shade Puddin', which is a nice like soft um, orangey tone. So I am really, really liking these. If you're curious, I would say pick one up in a, in a, I was gonna say in a flavor, in a shade that you think you'd wear a lot. And I think these and then putting a gloss on top is so, so nice. Cause I do like that you can kind of feather these out and get that kind of like soft blotted lip sort of look. So these are really nice and I have been enjoying them. Next up, I'm just gonna go all through the, the lip products first. These are the uh, Beach Cosmetics So Extra glosses. This, uh, they come in duos. I'm not really sure what the duo for this was called, but this was part of their like, um, 
their festival palette that just came out, that like rainbowy one. Um, so I picked these ones up because they were like the more uh, interesting not even interesting the more subdued duo i guess um because they're both nudes this one is like a just a cream it's got no shimmer or glitter or anything through it and these are really really nice i didn't expect to like these as much i was just interested to try them out but they do have a big giant juicy doe foot applicator and they're nice they're not super thick on the lips these are more of a sheer um, sheer formula especially this one this is the more glittery um, shade I'm actually wearing this on top of like a lip liner and a lip stain that I'll talk about in a minute but this one is very very sheer it looks like it kind of has like a pinky beige base to it but when you put it on I'll actually just swatch it here I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this but if you look there it really is just like glitter it's more of like a topper so I like to put this on top of like already you know colored lips and then this one is I guess I'll swatch this one too I guess I should have swatched the other things but boo, 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 boo. so this is just kind of like a mauvey pink toned nude but they're really nice they smell very softly of vanilla and they're just really nice to throw over but because they are a thinner formula they don't last super long so you know if, if you like a thinner formula that you know isn't gonna look too heavy on the lips this might be nice but do know that you'll probably have to reapply okay next these are I'm, honestly i don't know the name of them i'm pretty sure they're the aqua tint lip or, or lip stains from elf these are really really nice as you can see this one has gotten a lot of use this is in the shade red orange wash and then i recently picked up the shade dewy berry I love lip stains. I feel like lip stains like this don't get a lot of like hype. I feel like people really like products that go on pretty like full impact and then like as they wear away they leave a stain. But I really like traditional lip stains that are kind of like this jelly formula. I feel like these definitely don't get enough attention like I don't hear anybody talking about these and they're always like super discounted on elf's website. They're like two or three dollars but these are really really nice. They glide on they can with these I feel like go on a little patchy especially if you're used to like regular lipsticks if you like put it on and then kind of pat your lips together they will get a little patchy so you just want to kind of put it on both lips leave it alone don't press your lips together and then just kind of let it soak in and then it'll stain you can put a gloss over top you can put like a sheer like lipstick over top if you want to tone down the color but I really really like these I feel like people aren't paying enough attention to these so let me quickly swatch so this is red orange wash which is just that kind of classic tomato red it's got a little bit of orange to it and then dewy berry is obviously more of a berry purple color let's see okay so there's those there they're really really nice they don't uh, they're kind of like deluxe lip liquid lipsticks they're just you put them on they don't really feel like anything especially once they soak in so if you like to add a little bit of moisture you can put a gloss over and it'll look really nice but these are fabulous i would like to pick up more especially because i'm going through this one really fast um and if you like lip stains or you're looking to try out a lip stain these are always really cheap so i would just wait for like a little elf sale and they're usually like two or three dollars okay quickly going through highlights this is the electrify duochrome highlighter by makeup geek i picked this up when they were um when they had like a sale to get rid of like their previous products or like products in older packaging um so i picked this up probably a couple months ago but it's a really pretty swatch right there if you can see it's like a really nice like yellow gold it's suit it's pretty subtle but i think it's really really pretty and i just kind of picked it up on a whim because everything was on like super clearance this was probably like I think like four or five dollars and I was buying a bunch of their eyeshadows anyway so I was like yeah I'll just throw it in there and it I wear it a lot like it's really really nice I probably wear it about once a week and it's just so easy and if you're my skin tone 
maybe a little lighter, maybe a little darker. I think it looks really nice and like glowy. It's not too intense. Uh, you can certainly like sheer it out more, um, but I just think it's really, really nice. Uh, the next highlighter is from an indie brand uh, called Notoriously Morbid. This is their Pumpkin Moon Pressed Highlighter. And if you look at it like this, you can see it's kind of like a swirl of like green and <laughs> orange. So I picked this up because I thought it was really cute and unique. And then once I got it, I was like, this isn't really practical. But I find, you know, there are spots where the green is a little more concentrated, the orange is a little more concentrated, so you can take a small brush and dip into, you know, either one if you want a green highlight or an orange highlight. But I find even when they're mixed, so I'll show you that right here. I did kind of blend away the uh, the other highlight, so you're probably not going to be able to tell but okay so there yeah right there that's the highlight if you mix them they make a really really pretty color and so I it's it's kind of hard to describe it's like a peachy almost like gold color but it looks really really unique in tone and I think it's so fun like that you have essentially three different highlighters in uh, the same little compact and yeah I just I picked it up mostly on impulse because I was like oh that's really cute initially you can't really see it anymore but it had like a, a, a imprint of like a jack-o-lantern face and I was like oh it's really cute and I was like picking up other stuff I got this a while ago but um, yeah I was like that's really cute so I just kind of put it in my cart without really thinking about it um, and then once I got a chance to really try it out and you know oh so pretty it's so pretty it kind of looks duochrome honestly um it's it's really pretty i think it's really unique and i wear this one pretty frequently too a lot of times just for the green because if i'm doing like a green look i like to do a little green highlight and i think this one's really nice and i like the formula too a couple of blushes this is the lime crime software blush this one is specifically in firewall but i do have a couple other uh, shades in this uh, line. So I'll swatch this one quickly. It looks like that. Um, I like these because these are cream blushes but they're a cream to powder formula and at first I didn't think I would like it because cream to powder typically doesn't have that like nice glossy glowy finish to it um, because it dries down but I really really like these because in the summer, I like to wear cream products, but sometimes, especially because my skin tends to be a little more oily, I find that they kind of slip and slide all on my face. I don't really like to powder because it kind of defeats the purpose. So I really do like these. You get that cream, like effortlessly, like supernatural look when you're applying blush, although I apply a lot, so it doesn't look supernatural, but um, it does still look really, really beautiful. And because they're that cream to powder formula, they do kind of set and they don't kind of slip all over your face. So if you do like cream products, but you have an oily, oilier skin type, I would recommend checking these out. And I have seen that people have found these at like Marshalls for like two or three dollars. I got them off the Lime Crime website, but also for like three dollars each when they had this like super sale so I wouldn't buy these full price but if you can find them on sale they're definitely worth checking out last face product this is the elf jelly pop flush blush I see a lot of people talking shit about these and I don't know why they're really really nice they are a little on the metallic side I find that if I'm using them on like straight onto my base like whether that be sunscreen or concealer or foundation or whatever um, I just do one cheek at a, si at a time because they do set down a little bit so I dip my little fingers just in whatever on the cap and then tap it in uh, blend it out really nicely um, and then do the other side uh, so I don't like to just tap on both sides and then blend out each cheek independently. I like to do one at a time. The uh, the finish n might not be for everybody. Let me kind of swatch it. I do like these because they smell like watermelon candy. Oh, that's so nice. But let me swatch this. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so that is it there at the bottom. It's not particularly like glossy it does have kind of like a metallic sheen to it but I still think it looks really pretty and 
it's nice to put under other blushes because I like a lot of blush and these this is the darkest shade I have another one that's way more subtle and it just kind of leaves that metallic shine without a lot of color so I like to use these under a different blush because I like to layer blushes I like a lot of blush I just think it's fun and cute um, so if you layer these underneath a, a different like powder blush or something you see that kind of shine without it being like overwhelmingly metallic um, although I don't think you get overwhelmingly metallic unless you're really like slapping it on I would say they're worth it just know that you kind of do have to manipulate it a little bit and you do have to make sure to do one cheek at a time because they will dry down okay and then rapid fire let's talk about some palettes um, this is the BH cosmetics illusion palette it looks like this I really like this one I liked the look out of it when they first announced it but I wasn't you know that in love with it that I wanted to like purchase it right away or anything but recently I made a purchase to BH Cosmetics website uh, picking up some other stuff and I got this included as like a free gift and I think it's really really nice you get um, six mattes six metallics all kind of like I wouldn't it's rainbow adjacent I guess there are a couple neutrals but I think it's super small and nice it's a nice travel palette especially if you like to play with color because there is a lot of fun stuff happening in there so this was definitely a, a hit I guess it really surprised me with how much I liked it elf again this is the elf earth and ocean palette and I feel like no one talks about this ever which is strange because it's such an on-trend palette you've got some neutrals some greens and then a whole side of like blues it's so so beautiful and I really like the color scheme of this when I first saw it um and then I was like I don't know like I do like elf's shadow formula but I know not everybody does and there are like kind of hits and misses within their palettes um, but I just like the 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 color scheme of this so much that I ended up picking it up and there are some really really gorgeous like formulas in here like specifically this shade tundra it almost looks like a pressed glitter but it's a it's a shadow let me oh my god I it's so soft and so like creamy I'm gonna swatch it I'll just swatch it up here under the glosses but look at that oh my god and it's so soft it's so creamy you can blend it out really easily oh so gorgeous oh look at my finger look at my finger do 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 focus oh look at that so I really really like this palette I guess I'll swatch a couple others just on my finger here so there's that oh yeah oh yeah super nice super affordable it's elf so I think this palette was like $14 and it's so pretty oh my god like I dipped once into that tundra shade and it's still going Ugh. let's see there we go there we go so if you're looking to get into like those blues and greens that are really trendy right now I would say this is this is a good place to start if you don't have anything else in your collection this is the Carity matte 21 uh, matte eyeshadow matte. the palette's called matte it's kind of annoying uh, essentially this is what it looks like so it is more of like a rainbow palette and I picked this up probably over a year ago now um, but when I first got it I, I picked it up on the recommendation of makeup by Tammy she did a whole video about it she said she picked it up off of like Amazon for super cheap and she really loved it she thought it was beautiful blah 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 and so I didn't have as much makeup as I have now when, when I bought this so I was like okay yeah it's, it'll be like an interesting thing to add to my collection it looks really pretty there's some really unique tones in here like the shade uh, fame this like soft minty color is really pretty uh, this color whisper which is like a soft blush pink it's a lot of really beautiful shades but I went back and forth and back and forth on this palette when I first got it maybe it's because I had no idea how to use it I guess it's not a particularly like difficult palette to use but I just me and it were not vibing when I first got it it 
I just felt like it was, it was pretty patchy. It wasn't as pigmented as I thought it should have been. Um, and I, for like probably two or three weeks, thought about returning this because I was like, I just don't understand the hype. Like it looked like so much nicer in Tammy's video. I just didn't, didn't know what was wrong. And then I kept using it because I was like forcing myself to like it or like forcing myself to use it so I could see what was going on. And then one day it like clicked and I was like, wow, this is actually really beautiful. And I just like, it was the weirdest thing. It could have just been because I was using it so often that I just kind of figured out the best way to use it. Although I don't think there's a particularly like specific technique you have to use. I just, for some reason, I just really didn't like it at first. But now it's, it's one of my faves. I had like a whole week of using it maybe like a month ago and, uh, I just really like it. I think it is a really good, maybe not beginner palette, but it is a really, it's a good thing to add to your um, collection if you like these tones, if you think you get a lot of use out of a whole matte rainbow um, palette. And I think it's really nice for traveling because you have all the shades you could ever need um, in terms of like colorful things. And then there are like five, six, seven, eight, nine-ish neutrals. Um, so I think it's really nice, but for some reason I just didn't like it. I wanted to return it and then just one day I was like, you know what, I figured it out. <laughs> so this was something that I thought I was gonna like, I ended up hating it, and then I ended up liking it again. So there's that. And last but not least, this is the Violet Are Blue palette from Shop Miss A. So if you know Shop Miss A, they do a lot of like $1 makeup. They have things that are obviously over a dollar, but um, the majority of their stuff is very, very cheap, very affordable, very, very nice actually. I have a lot of their um, like sponges. They're like beauty sponges they're like a dollar fifty and they're so nice so soft I gave one to my mom and she was like I love this so highly recommend their sponges but this is the violets are blue palette I picked this up kind of on a whim I, there was a palette that I wanted from them for so long that I I still want <laughs> especially after trying this one um, but I don't know why I didn't end up picking that one up. I think it was because when I saw this one on the website, I thought this was like a nicer color scheme. The website is a little deceiving because these two shades right here, these like dark grays, they like, I think they boosted up the saturation or something because these look green, this like soft, like butter color, I thought was like a true bright yellow. So I thought this was a more interesting color story than it actually is, but it still blew me away because this has a really, really nice formula. I thought it was gonna be shit. I was mostly just trying it out for the laughs, um, but I actually really like it. So the packaging is annoying. It has just this like flimsy plastic sheet um on top so it's harder to store because you can't like jam it in with a bunch of stuff because i'm really concerned that this plastic is just gonna like pop out um so the, the packaging does take a hit for the price i think i picked it up for like eight dollars or something which yeah you can buy like other palette you can buy like color pop palettes with nice packaging and nice shades for eight dollars or something if it's like on sale with a discount code because i think the monochromatic palettes are like 12. regardless this is really nice. I think I will end up picking up the color story that I liked initially, especially after trying this because they are a little on the powdery side, like when you put your brush in them, especially like the mattes, they will kind of kick up, but it doesn't really bother me, especially because this is so cheap that like if I were to go to, through this and like hit pan, I wouldn't be upset. Um, so let me let me swatch a couple things. So I'll swatch this like caramel, I'll swatch this soft purple, and then let's do a shimmer. Ugh, the shimmers are so creamy. They're not super interesting in terms of like texture because they, it, they're pretty flat metallics. They don't really have a lot of like sparkle or glitter or anything running through it, but they are really soft. So let's see, let me show you those, boop, boop, boop. 
and then I'll swatch them down here. So, oh god, bad swatch place, but that's what they look like. So they're really, really beautiful, really nice. Those metallics are very creamy, very special. So if you're interested in any of the color stories, because I know they have probably like eight or ten different palettes um, like this in this like format. I think it's like 25 shades. Let me see. I have 10, 30. Yeah, 25 shades. Um, honestly, I would recommend them. I, I do plan on picking the other one up at some point, probably not soon because I have so much stuff I need to use. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you're like on their website picking up sponges, which I recommend, or they have really nice brushes in their AOA Studio line, and you're looking at the color stories of these, and you're like, they're $8, like just for funsies, I would recommend them. I think they're really nice. You expect some kick up in the matte shades, but they blend really easily. They basically blend themselves. This is probably the one that surprised me the most. I didn't really expect much from it. I kind of figured it'd be like those big old like Christmas palettes that like Elf puts out that are like kind of shit quality. I was kind of expecting that, but I was very, very pleasantly surprised. So that's everything for me today. I hope I didn't ramble on too long, but I I just know I did. <laughs> so that's everything for me. If you picked up anything recently that really surprised you, be sure to let me know what it was down in the comments. Like this if you liked it. Subscribe if you're feeling some sort of vibe between me and you. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.